All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Sako here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to how to CPU and GPU mine Orbit Coin. Just as a heads up, I still have a little bit of a head cold for anybody new to the channel. I don't normally sound this nasally, but I just wanted to make a video and save some of my bigger videos for a little later on. But uh, Orbit Coin struck me as interesting because of its low circulation supply and its pretty low price, and it's just starting to go up. It's been around for a while, and it's been going up for quite some time, and it was at its peak a little while ago, but it looks like it's on its way up again. Might be a pretty good coin to mine. So I went to theblocksfactory.com. I'll put this link in the description below. And this is an Orbit coin pool. It's not the biggest one around, but it worked for me and it was pretty easy to set up. So I'll show this one. So when you get here, make sure that uh, this is selected in gray. And that brings you to the orb.theblocksfactory. So the Orbit pool version of the site. And the first thing you wanna do after making an account just go to my workers and name your worker something, whatever you would like. I always use my name twice as my login and my worker, and your password can be anything you want. So if anybody knows your password, well, then they'll just be mining on your behalf, so it doesn't matter. And it's usually just defaulted to X, so don't worry about that. Then you go to getting started, and you're going to need to get two miners, one for the CPU and one for the GPU. So the first one here... NGS, NSG miner will open a new tab and you want to grab it from here the 64-bit release if you're on Windows and then you want to just scroll down a little bit more and grab the Windows CPU miner and so then you'll have the GPU and the CPU miner now I'm gonna put this link in the description below as well this is the core wallet. This is what you can mine to. Uh, normally your coins mine right to the mining pool and it'll hold them there for a while. And then eventually you're gonna have to uh, transfer them to a wallet. So you're gonna need the core wallet. So that's right here, the 64 bit version or whatever you have. I'll put that in the description as well. And so once you have those and you download them to your desktop, you'll have two RAR files. So take those two RAR files and make one folder on your desktop called orbit gpu it doesn't even really matter what you call it just so that you you know it and then put that in there so you'll have your nsg miner which is your your gpu miner in this folder and then make a separate folder for your cpu miner and put that one in there so now we have these two separate folders and they're just sitting on my desktop and one is the cpu rar and the gpu rar so just extract both of them to their respective folders so just right click on them and then extract here and then when you open your GPU we'll do the GPU first you want to create a new file a new text document and then you're going to edit it so click edit and then what you do is just copy this from the NSG miner because you're working on your GPU miner and hit copy and then paste that into there and if you're already logged in to the site, it fills this worker name in for you or this login name. So it automatically has that, but then it just has worker name right here. So you have to remove that. So make sure you remove that right down to the period, keep that though. And then type in your worker name that you made. So as I said earlier, my worker name was just, again, Mr. Sotko. And then scroll over a little bit here and take away those X's and just leave one X. If that was your password, if your password was just X, just leave it as X. And then we're going to save as, and then you wanna do all files right here. And then just call it start.bat.bat. And then you can close that. And then go back to your, your folder and you'll have this <clears throat> batch file here excuse me uh, again feels like a pineapple in my face um, and then you should be good to go when you press start uh, sometimes it takes a second and it will start working after a moment and there it goes so it's gonna start bricking my computer here real bad so what we're gonna do as you can see the uh, frames start going all over the place um, so orbit coin kind of does that visually to your computer uh, so it, it's sort of something that you want to mine on a rig that you're not really using all the time. So if you're using all your, your computer all the time while mining, 
and you're trying to watch a, a YouTube video or something like that, it's going to get real jittery real quick, as you can see in my in my OBS there, in my recording program. So so that's good to go, and it works. And eventually your your graphics cards will start up and start hashing away. And if you go to pool stats, you can see your stats. And eventually, it takes it takes a few minutes for you to start going up. Even if you had like two mega hash, it would take you a few minutes to get up there. And this is a PPLNS system. So if the, the longer you mine on this, the more that you're going to get over time. And as you can see, it's a very, very small pool. It's only a couple. Uh, the whole pool itself is like 12 mega hash, something like that. Uh, and this is not even much. Yeah, maybe 12 mega hash. So not a lot of, of pool members on here. But the blocks are found pretty consistently it's not too bad and the more people that hop on it the more blocks that will be found and it'll be spread out so either way and you can see your in your account details if you go here and i, I will i will show you the cpu miner in just a moment but i want to show you how you, you're going to get your coins because i'm sure you're wondering and when you download your core wallet you're going to use that core wallet address code right here and that's what you'll pay to and then you put in your pin to update the settings and you can see your account balance down here. So I mined one whole orb at the moment. I didn't mine very long, and I ended up getting one orb. And I'm still getting uh, some in because it's a PPLNS system. So I, I mined for a while, and I'm still getting those shares over time. So that number might be higher the next time I look at it. So now let's do the CPU. So we got to go back to getting started. Sorry for jumping around there. But we want to set up the CPU miner next. So we still have that folder with the CPU miner in it. And remember, we extracted it. And so now we have the CPU miner. So we essentially have to do the same thing now. So go to 64-bit if you're using 64-bit. And don't click on this. Just, again, create a new file here, a new text document. And then, again, edit. And now we're going to take the CPU miner script and copy that and paste it again. So now we have to edit this a little bit. Again, you have to put in your worker name and then just skip on over to password. You're gonna remove password, leave a space after the P and put X because that was my password. And so we'll save as again, that's very important. Save as, all files, start dot bat and we'll save. And then you can close it. Go right back to your CPU miner. And again, we're in the Orbit CPU folder that we made. And just click Start. And it will working will start work sooner or later here. And sometimes it takes a few seconds, but it usually will work. There it goes. All my threads start popping in. <laughs> and I always hate waiting on camera. I'm like, ah, I hope it's going to work. But yes, it works. So now those are hashing away, but I'm going to close that, stop that, uh, because I don't really like to hash while I'm recording, because uh, well, it's, quite frankly, it wreaks havoc with your, with your computer and your video file that you're working with. And so again, in your account details, you can see uh, what, how much coins you have and, and the coins that are coming in. And in your stats, in the pool stats, you can see where you are and how much estimated orb per day that you're going to get. And see, I just turned on my miner for just a split second there, and it only got to 55 kilo hash, and that's essentially 0.2 coins. But that's because I wasn't mining very long, and I wasn't using both my GPU and my CPU miner at the same time. <clears throat> but you can see that the person at the top in, in, the, uh, in the pool here is 2.14 mega hash, and they're getting about 8.67 a day. So that's not too bad. That's a little over... That's maybe like five bucks a day. So it's not the uh, greatest coin to mine right now. But if you were to mine this coin for a while and then it doubles in price, then that's pretty good. And you can maybe sell it later on down the road. And I think Orbit Coin's going to go up eventually sooner or later here because of the low circulating supply and that it's a proof of work and a proof of stake coin, meaning that uh, with proof of stake, you hold it in a wallet and you essentially gain more coins over time. Uh, this might not do it. I'm not sure if the core wallet does it on Orbit coin, but it is also considered to be a proof of stake coin. So not too bad. So it's kind of a dual purpose coin. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, put them down in the comments down below. I usually check my email or my comments as often as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time.